So this is the exhaust we're going to be replacing. Oh, it's um 38 mil pipe here down into a two into one collector and then two inch out the back. Um, it's fairly rudimentary. It's just made really to get the bike running. Uh, the header length is far, far too short and that's too long of a collector pipe length uh, really for anything for optimal power. And uh, the muffler's a bit, a bit of a turd as well. So we're replacing it with a two into one into two system. It will have an interchangeable Y piece so it can go two straight pipes. Um, if uh, if wanted or needed, um, here's one of the cams which I made up. Um, we've got two of these, and uh, yeah, I'll uh, keep you up to date with how it all comes on. I was in a bit of a rush to get these done. I'm under a bit of a time constraint, so that's why I haven't recorded making these myself. But yeah, uh, yeah, some just some homemade canisters with an offset outlet tip, little edgy look. So we're a little ways on now. Uh, I've marked up each of the individual cylinders and put a back cut on the um, larger size pipe. Um, as you can see, that is not level. There was a back cut on it. Um, and a little marking up line there. Um, so there's minimal gaps. And um, yeah, she's lining up quite nice, to be honest with you. Get it tacked together now and then put it on for a refit and go from there. So I'm part way through completing, just welding on the first bit of tubing. Uh, B consistency is not great because my fit up has been pretty shit. All I've had to work with is an angle grinder. Um, so you can see what we're looking at there. The gap is quite large really. Um, but I've been doing my best to fill in the blanks. So just going to get this one finished up. So just got done with the second bit of tube here. Uh, no, we're going back on the bike just for a little mock-up and fit up. So I've just made up to... Uh, oh, hold on. Uh, oh yeah, they're tight. So I made two slip-on pieces here. There we are. Uh, for the 42 to 45 millimetre tube. Uh, now what I'm going to do is crack on with fixing these where I want them and putting the bend on. And then I know the distance of the gap I need to fill. So uh, yeah, I'll keep that updated. So I've got the uh, bend welded on here. Um, fit up's my enemy at the moment because I've only got an angle grinder to work off of. Um, bugging me a little bit, but there we are. Um, yeah, so I've mocked that up. I've got two angles there which might work. I'm going to try the lesser cut back and then if needs be I'll cut it back to the more aggressive one. Uh, alongside that I've just tacked up uh, this stepped piece into the muffler um, so yeah come along nicely so I've just got the final piece welded on <clears throat> um, the reason why there's not a bend directly welded onto this one is because in order to keep equal length on the um, or for each cylinder I'm gonna have to offset this one further down as it's got the inside radius bend so this is all I'm gonna be able to get done today um, the last weld here has just been tacked together and bolted up into the cylinder head just to check fitment. Um, that one's pretty much all sorted. I'll just have to weld that one out next time I'm here. And this one I have cut the pieces for, but I've got to weld that, that, and that. Uh, and then we'll be all sorted, uh, dead chuffed with uh, the progress we made today. And uh, hopefully uh, it goes pretty well with it. So this is afternoon two of working on the bike, or the exhaust for the bike. I've just finished welding up fully what I tacked up last time I was here uh, and alongside that and alongside that I also welded on what I'd marked up with the three cut lines uh, last time as well so I'm just going to try all this back on see how it fits and then finish welding up the last few bits so just going to test fit this weld up, or this bend up onto the uh, slip-on piece. Uh, if that fits nice and tight this way and that way, then I've just got one weld to do, which is this slip-on piece onto there. So uh, the bikes are back and back together and running again. Um, this was the final weld I had to do. Didn't come out as great as I would have wanted. Um, <clears throat> I had to put a slight kickback on it. Uh, utilising a bit of a sloth in the tolerances between the two pipe sizes and that left a quite a large gap 
Um, so again, if we'd taken more time <clears throat> and perhaps set everything up a little bit better, uh, it would have looked a bit nicer, but it's my first time doing it all. So all in all, uh, pretty chuffed with it, um, especially these last uh, couple of welds comparative to what I did uh, on the first day. Yeah, that one, that one, and that one. So yeah, really happy with those three. Uh, so things will continue on like that.